Hey, hey, Aries. Welcome to your weekly forecast for April 19th through the 25th. Happy birthday to the last of the Aries for Aries season, the April 19th Aries. We're going to see what's coming up for you guys in the week ahead for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. And uh, we're going to see what messages are coming in for you all. Uh, my apologies, guys. I know my posting has been spotty, but I promise you, I promise you, it will be more consistent. And it will be sooner. You see how I'm getting it out before the week ahead. So... Let's see what's happening for you guys. Uh, podcast also coming up soon. All right. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. What is happening for our darling Aries friends? Let's get right on into it. I know people don't like waiting long. All right. So, Aries. <gasps> Ooh, we have the star. Okay. If you're new here, I know a lot of people, you guys are going to see the star. You're going to immediately think of an Aquarius person. Uh, but just so that you know, I do my love readings separate on this channel. And on the weekly forecast, I try to focus on you. I want to talk about Aries. I want to go down with Aries. I don't want to worry so much about other people. Okay. For some of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But if you have an Aquarius placement in your chart, that area of your life might be really front and center for you right now or you may be coming to really significant new beginnings in that area of your life set Aquarius aside in general the star card for me is a star card that comes up in the readings to say look you've made it past the tower you've made it past the most difficult moments and now is the time that things are beginning to open up. Now is the time that you're rising above it. And you can expect for things to get better. And you can expect for these to be long-lasting, happy, positive changes. Uh, Star card is, is major arcana. So major arcanas in general are going to come up when we're coming into a new chapter. When we're coming into a new beginning. When we're coming into a time uh, that we're kind of being shifted or directed back onto our path and the star card is you know making it out of the chaos making it out of the darkness a shining light and some of you are feeling moved to inspire and to show others the way there's an element of healing there's an element of creativity there's an element of beauty with this card uh, some people don't know this but the star card can also indicate uh, long-term retirement, like comfortable retirement. So some of you might be thinking into the future and you might be thinking of ways that you can kind of settle up, uh, like uh, get yourself settled for the future. I do feel though that some of you are having this desire uh, even though the star card might not typically be associated with exploration, I'm getting a feeling and in, in sense of exploration. Like some of you are wanting to take uh, like a really big road trip or you're wanting to uh, kind of try to spend uh, more of your life on the road or traveling. I think maybe those of you who are working remotely or you may be looking for a remote kind of job so that you can kind of just be, I'm feeling a sense or a desire to be out in open spaces, uh, which I can relate to. And I'll talk to, uh, I'll talk to you guys about it in the, in the podcast I'm going to be putting up in the next couple of days. But I feel like some of you are feeling a, a need to be, um, like, like, like you're feeling a little bit, I guess, claustrophobic where you are and you're wanting wider open space for some of you. Uh, and for some of you, this is the beginning of a journey in which you're going to be creating, uh, to just creating for the sense of creating. It may end up being some kind of income for you guys in the future, like a retirement income or something that you're, you're putting towards retirement. Uh, but I feel a sense of creating, wanting to create. Okay. Star card is healing. For me in my readings like like you're healing you're healing you're taking your experiences and you're, and you're turning into them into something very beautiful your next card here my darlings <laughs> uh, oh here's confirmation for what i was feeling the six of swords the six of swords can have an element of travel it can be the desire to take a trip but uh, deeper than that really the meaning of the six of swords is that you're you're wanting to clear your head right it's kind of like like a fresh start somewhere where you can disconnect from drama 
okay and Aries some of you are coming from like an inheritance of a drama things have been dramatic like you're like oh that's the only way my family knows how to communicate is through drama or my friends have been drama right like you're just kind of used to things becoming a big deal things getting very mixed up things getting very confusing and you're just wanting peace you're wanting peace calm clarity okay and so there may be a desire to take some kind of a trip i know you guys are a fire sign but i feel some of you are having a longing to be near water okay uh i think something similar came up for capricorn so i would be uh but uh i would be curious how many of you have a capricorn placement that actually feel that right now if you're feeling a longing or a desire to be in your water but i'm feeling that sense like like you're like you're wanting to just kind of wash away the past uh you're wanting to just be near that element or maybe for some of you that can be helpful you know maybe you want to incorporate some some water element into your spiritual work or spiritual practice or just in general um as, as a part of your like uh meditation or healing incorporating the element of water uh six of swords like i said can be traveling though so i do feel that for many of you, you're just wanting to get away and clear your head. Okay, you're wanting to get away and clear your head. I feel some of you are thinking really, really far ahead into your future. And the more that you can clear your head, the more that you can kind of get away from the chaos and the drama and uh, uh, fear energy. I'm going to get into that because I just saw the devil card in my head the more the ideas are going to flow to you, the more you're going to realize there's a lot that you ha you can do in this moment right now to feel a little bit more empowered and to feel a little bit more prepared for the future. Um, so when I was talking about fear energy, I feel Aries that a lot of you are surrounded by people that are putting a lot of fear in your head. Okay, they're maybe coming at you really negatively about everything that's going on and everything that's going wrong. I'm not putting down any kind of um, multi-level marketing or uh, people who are trying to sell products or uh, investment plans or, you know, like pe pe people have their side hustle. I'm not putting any of that down. But Aries, I feel like some of you have people around you that are in that kind of business. And I feel like they're trying to recruit you and unfortunately, I feel like the people that some of you are dealing with are coming at you in a really fear-based way where they're freaking you out and they're scaring you. Like you're so unprepared for the future, Aries, and don't you understand the economy and this is going to happen and that's going to happen and you're going to be left struggling and what about your family and what about your kids? Like they're trying to recruit you and they might mean well, but I feel like they're coming at you with a lot of fear energy, right? And you're like, well, I know I have to do something, but like, I, 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 I don't know that I could do what they're doing, or I don't know that I want to do what they're doing. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm so unprepared. I'm so unprepared. So be aware of anybody that's coming at you that's making you feel panicked or scared or worried. Okay, even if like in the line of work that I'm in, I do readings, right? And sometimes I try to read for myself and it's not always going to be good news. It's not always going to be good news. But when spirit is bringing us bad news, spirit is always going to bring it to us where there's a, a solution that resonates. There, 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 there's like a peace or a calm like, okay, well, this is how we're going to get through it. But if something is coming in and it's making you feel panicked, that's not spirit. That's ego. Okay. It's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows, right? But anything that's coming in where it's like panic energy, that's not the truth. The truth is never going to come at you with a spirit of panic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So try to disconnect Aries. Again, I feel like these people might mean well. They, they want to help you and they might feel like they found something that works for them and they might be really wholehearted about it, but it's not for you and it's freaking you out and it's scaring you. Disconnect. Disconnect. Okay. Even if you can't like, you know, go somewhere or travel, maybe you don't have a car. You can't just jump in your car and drive away, or you're not in a position where you can take a trip right now, but you can disconnect from those people. 
And you can just say, you know what, I need some space. Or we've talked about this. If and when I'm ready to do it, I'll let you know. Thanks for looking out for me, right? Don't be afraid to draw that line. But just avoid anybody who's putting you in fear energy. Your next card here, my darlings, is the Three of Wands, okay? Now, Three of Wands can be seen uh, when we're not talking about love and romance because we're not. That's already done separately, uh, for April, you can check out those videos after this. Uh, when we're not talking about love and romance, three of wands can be seen as a card of enterprise or wanting to launch something, put something out there. So some of you may have a desire to like put your creative work out there or put some kind of, um, uh, um, a uh, business idea or something out there. But for some reason, I'm feeling a lot of energy in my throat chakra. I keep having to pause and drink water. I'm feeling a lot of energy uh, in, in the throat area. So for some reason, I feel like some of you are wanting to do something with speaking. Speaking. Like you're wanting to launch something, but it involves you speaking. So maybe some of you are wanting to motivate others. You've been through a lot and you've accomplished a lot. And you're wanting to share your experience. Maybe you're wanting to do uh, speaking to certain groups uh, or motivational speaking. Maybe you're wanting to do some kind of podcast or uh, some kind of YouTube channel where you're getting up there and, and you're talking about subjects or topics. Um, or like I just feel for some reason a lot of energy in, in, in the throat chakra. But overall, to go a little bit deeper here, the three of wands is going to be a lot of the times a card that comes up that says like this is the point of no return there's nowhere to go but forward you're kind of at a place in your life where going back going backward going back to the past is not an option right a lot of you are on a very very massive shift in your spiritual journey and this can be a little overwhelming but the three of wands says that there's been a mental expansion right? You can't, it's not possible to go back to sleep. You can't unsee what you've seen. And so there's nowhere to go but forward. And some of you are feeling a little bit nervous about that. But you know, just take a deep breath and go slow. Nobody says you have to go running. You know, nobody says you ha that this is a race where you have to hurry up and get to a certain point. But there's nowhere to go but forward. Okay, you can't go back to the past. Uh, and the three of wands lets us know that we can expect for positive outcomes to come, right? They might not be perfect, but good things are coming. Good things are coming with the three of wands. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to, uh, express yourself. Don't be afraid to take chances, right? Take educated chances, right? Uh, it, we don't have to always go big or go home. It doesn't have to be that extreme. We can take little chances, right? The ones that are safe to take. Uh, but take them. Take them. Take them. Your next card here, my darlings, is the Nine of Wands. Okay? And Nine of Wands is going to indicate a couple of things. First and foremost, Nine of Wands can be a very, like, a card of being on the defensive right? Where we kind of have to protect ourselves or we have to be very cautious about what's coming in. Sometimes it can indicate the need for stronger boundaries. Uh, Nine of Wands can also indicate that we're very, very close to the completion of a project. Something is going to be wrapping up soon. Something is going to be very ready soon. Uh, for those of you who are on the defensive and you're worried and you're scared, Nine of Wands wants you to know you don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared about letting people in or meeting new people. You don't have to be scared about taking chances. You don't have to be scared about working or collaborating with other people, even if you got burnt in the past. And I'll tell you why. Nine of Wands wants you to know there is nothing new under the sun anybody can come at you with. You have seen every lie. You have seen every mind game, every manipulation, every con, there's nothing new to you. You've, you've been through it. Every single one of these sticks here represents, symbolizes someone who came at this dude who's just in his field minding his own business, doing his own thing, and they came to him and they challenged him and they wanted to fight him. And you can see here, he got hurt. 
He has his head wrapped up, looks like a bandage around his arm. He took some hits. He got hurt. But he's still standing. And he's still alert. And he's still got fight in him. Right? And there might be one big battle coming up. There might be one more opponent. There might be one big boss. Like in the video games, you got to get to like the big boss at the end. That's where some of you are in like that struggle journey. Right? But this is telling you that every single one of those battles gave you experience. And it made you wiser. And so you know how to handle whatever's coming. You know how to handle whatever's coming. Jealousy, envy, uh, you know, uh, sneakiness, lying, deceit, whatever it might be. You know, you know what the red flags are. You know what to look out for. So when you start seeing those signs, you can say, I'm not going to work with that person. Or I'm not going to get, you know, tangled up with that person or with that situation. Oh, I see what this is, right? And so you don't have to be scared because you already know what to look out for. You have the tools now. Before in the past, you didn't have the tools, but you have them now. So you don't have to be scared. Okay, you don't have to be scared. Your next card here, my dears, is the Fool. And the Fool is a major arcana card. So again, coming into a new chapter, coming into a new direction. Now, the Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith, right? Uh, and you guys have had this card come up in the past. And I know in the past, it came up in the sense that some of you were wanting to kind of get out there or get a fresh start. And the message came in for you guys that some of you were going to be selling a lot of things and just trying to be more minimalistic and like be able to like kind of travel or go places and not have so much weighing you down uh, physically like with physical belongings, but I'm feeling a sense here in terms of worries, cares, fears. I feel like areas you're feeling like it's time for you to worry less about what's going on in the lives of others. And I, I don't mean children. I don't mean small kids. Your kids still need you. Little kids are still going to need you. But I'm talking about like, you know, uh, older siblings, uh, friends, family members, coworkers who just kind of want to come to you and dump on you and, and, and vent and just people in general who are like, Aries, I don't know how to do this. Aries, I don't know how to, Aries, I need your help. Aries. And you're just like, I can't. You're like, it's not my job to like go in there and, and take care of everybody. So I feel like some of you are thinning out uh, that emotional energy, like kind of who you're letting tap into that emotional energy and you're focusing on you. And some of you are preparing to take a very big leap of faith. And there is a, a business element here for some of you. Some of you are launching a business and that's where you're kind of taking the leap of faith. Uh, but I feel for some of you, this is more kind of breaking out of the current structure of your life and starting a new one starting like, like a new structure, a new way of doing things that feels good to you, that feels freeing to you. The only thing with the fool, even though you're being led and guided to make this really big leap, um, I'm going to have to talk about this in the podcast, even though you're feeling really guided to take this really big leap, the fool card says, look before you leap. Yes, you're being directed. Yes, you know, you're kind of being directed to take some chances and to do some things that maybe aren't going to make sense to the people in your life. But you still have to look before you leap. You have to have your safety net in place or you have to have a plan in place, right? You have to do it in a logical and educated way. You might be feeling guided to quit your job. Like spirit might be telling you it's time for you to get out of here right? But it might not be logical. It might not be reasonable to just go in the next day and, and quit on the spot and not have anything else lined up. There might be people who say, oh no, you don't have faith and do it and you're going to manifest something right away. But sometimes it doesn't manifest right away, right? And we got bills in the meantime. So, or whatever it might be, you, you might be feeling a really guided to, to move, uh, you, but you have to, you have to take the steps. You have to set it up in a logical way. So look before you leap and don't wait too long. 
Don't wait until you get to the point where you can't stand it anymore and you quit on the spot or you can't stand it anymore and you just kind of find yourself all of a sudden having a tower moment and hurrying up and having to find a place to move because there was some kind of argument or fight or blowout. Don't wait until the last minute, okay? Uh, you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those are going to resonate more than others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. I have it listed in the link of the description. I have a link listed in the description. Uh, calendly.com slash amethyst angelite. You can schedule a private reading with me there. You can also watch the love readings for April. I'm going to try to get the May love readings out a little early. Uh, and my guys, my friends, my dears, please, 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 I'm begging you. If you're going to schedule a private reading with me, just take, just, just take a second, just a second and double check your email address. Make sure there aren't any typos because I'm going to email the reading to you. And if I don't have your email address, right, I'm going to be stuck waiting for you to reach out to me and say, Hey, how come you never sent me my reading? Well, I, your emails keep bouncing back. Thanks for writing me. Now I can get your reading to you. Or I have this happen a lot. People are like, Amethyst, where's my reading? Where's my reading? And you gave me a different email address. And you're emailing me from a different address asking me where your reading is. So please make sure that you give me the email address where you want your reading set. And please make sure that it's entered correctly, that there aren't any typos. That would help me get it to you much faster. Thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, liking. Take care, my darlings. Bye.